Hey kids! So I want your help today to answer some questions. We have a very special guest, as you can tell, Mullet's pet rabbit, the Easter Bunny, who will also be answering the questions with us. Okay, so let's start. Question one. Should we wash the dishes today? Mm, yeah, I think we should be a good bunny and help wash the dishes today. Second question. Should we have some chocolate ice cream today? Absolutely. We definitely deserve chocolate ice cream all the time. Should we play Minecraft or Roblox today? Hmm, I'm going to say no. It's not really my game, but maybe it could be for some of you. Should we go to Sunday school today? Absolutely, absolutely. Should we brush our teeth before bed today? Hmm, I'm going to be a little bit naughty and say no. Shh, don't tell mum though. Should we share our friends? Oh, should, our, should we share our toys with our friends? Yeah, let's be some good money today and let's share our toys with our friends. Nice. Thank you for answering all the questions for us kids. So in today's story, we hear about a group of people who say no all the time, even to Jesus. So let's go find out what happens when people say no to God and no to Jesus all the time. There once lived a man. This man owned a big farm full of grapevines. It was the biggest grape farm in the area. On the farm, he built a brand new barn. Around the edge of the farm, he built a fence. Now the owner was ready, ready to rent out his farm. So he placed an ad in the local paper. All that was left to do was to wait. Would anyone rent his farm? Some farmers were coming. They were going to look at the farm. Soon, there was a knock at the door and in walked the farmers. They looked around. They liked what they saw. So they said yes, they would rent the farm. The owner was very pleased. He gave the farmers the key to the farm and then he went on a long holiday. The farmers walked around the farm. They liked what they saw. The farm was all theirs. The farmer set to work. They dug the ground, they planted the seed, and they watered the seed. Meanwhile, the owner decided it was time to send someone to collect the rent. He called one of his servants. He told his servant to go and ask the farmers for the rent they owed him. So the servant set off. It was a long way. Finally, the servant came to the farm. The farmers went out to meet the servant. But instead of giving the servant the money, they grabbed the servant and beat him up. The poor servant staggered back to the owner. The owner cried, what has happened to you? The servant sobbed. The farmers beat me up. The owner decided to send another servant. So the servant went off. Again, the farmer saw the owner's servant coming. Again, the farmers went out to meet him. And again, the farmers beat up the owner's servant. So the owner sent more and more servants and each time the farmers would beat them up. Finally, the owner caught his son. The owner was sure they'd listen to him because he was his son. So the owner's son set off. The farmers saw the owner's son coming along the road. They rubbed their hands together. They thought if they killed the son, the farm would be theirs. And so they killed the owner's son. Children, what do you think the owner will do now? I'll tell you what he'll do. He'll get rid of those farmers and he will give the farm to others. Those farmers will pay him the money that they owe him. So you see, kids, when we say no to God and Jesus all the time, we miss out on the biggest and greatest gift that he can give us, which is forgiveness and his love for us. This is the best gift ever. Wouldn't it be a shame if you said no all the time and then you missed out? One way we have all said yes to Jesus is by coming to church even when we're really, really busy or really, really tired or just feeling too lazy to get out of bed. Remember, it's important that we continue to say yes to Jesus even when it's sometimes hard to do so. Kids, have you said yes to Jesus today? <laughs>